Hello everyone, it's Helen, and welcome to Scraplift Saturday. This is this week's inspiration piece, and I'm immediately drawn to those three hearts at the bottom. It made me think of this layout that I made quite a while ago, but I really loved it, so I decided to scraplift myself. Why not? Well, if I'm being honest, I've been struggling a little bit with creativity the last two weeks, and... I was really finding it hard to find something to scrap lift. But when I looked at those hearts, I thought, hmm, you know, actually, scrap lifting yourself is not a bad idea. We all have those layouts in our albums or our piles that we really like. And sometimes, you know, a good idea should be used more than once. So that's what I did. I started off with a crafter's workshop heart stencil. I've had it for quite a while and used some distress inks to stencil away and then decided to hand stitch all the way around them. And that took me quite a while. Thankfully for Netflix, I wasn't too bored while I was hand stitching. Then I sat at this point and thought, mm, what should I do next? When I get like that, I start matting my photo, hopefully getting some inspiration as I'm going. I'm pulling papers from the Lovely Day collection by Dear Lizzie, and truth be told, I'm using it because there's some really cute lovebirds in the embellishment section and on some papers, and I'm doing this because Sam has parrots on his shirt. Hmm, good reason. Why not? As you can see here, I decided to cut down the background and tie in some navy on it at both sides. I just felt that the photo was a bit lost on this background and so by doing this I'm connecting the pattern paper that's behind the photo to the to the layout of the background. I don't know, I just like to do that. As you can see here I'm matting the photo on some of that background paper. What I did if you noticed I cut out the middle so that I would have that piece exactly for this reason. I'm feeling a little bit better about the layout at this precise moment. I was really struggling earlier on. But once I found this piece of paper on my desk, it's from the Chasing Dreams collection, that just helps tie in the blues of the hearts more with the layout. And I feel a little bit better about it. I've started pulling out some of the embellishments from both Chasing Dreams and that lovely day collection and really swan doesn't work for me even though it is another sort of bird I could have left it there but I didn't want to so some carefully placed embellishments covers up the swan but I get the color that I want behind now these are the two birds that I'll talk I was talking about the whole reason really I use this whole range because I think they're really quite cute. Sorry for the bit of a glare there but they've got um, some foiling on them so it's picking up the light. This seems to be a trend of mine lately to have this almost like entry and exit spots to my pages starting at that top left or corner and finishing at the bottom right bringing your eye through the page. Well that's my thinking anyway I think as I'm doing it. I do love how you can use brand new papers such as the lovely day and then incorporate some older pieces such as these stickers. I can't quite remember which range they come from but I know they've been in my stash for quite a while and I haven't got around to using much of the page but I just felt today that it gave that little bit of a sparkle to my layout to use the darling and I wanted it to say my darling boys. It ends up being darling boys but still fitting and just a few other little bit of the gold hearts. Back in my original layout that I scrap lift I used black thickers and I didn't want to do that with this one. I didn't feel the black was the right way to go whereas the gold actually worked with the colorings of the layout. I'm going around with some little puffy stickers and if you noticed I did use those little puffy lovebirds again at the bottom repeating Elements like that can help with your with drawing your eye through your layout. Plus they're so cute. How could you not reuse them anyway? 
I really wanted to use this little hedgehog because he's really cute too. But I didn't feel it worked and I thought I'll leave that one for another layout one day. Mm, these letter stickers are a little bit old too. I think they were last year's from the Indigo Hills range. But I really like them. I've got two packets of them so I've got to keep using them. And now finishing off with some of the finer little embellishment pieces. I probably should have stopped with these little enamel dots, but I found some enamel accents sitting on my desk and thought, oh yeah, I'll add some of that too. Uh, luckily they don't stand out too much and kind of blend in with the blue hearts, but it probably wasn't the best idea. If you're still here, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video all the way through to the end. And don't forget, go looking through the covers of your albums because you'll find lots of inspiration there. Scrap lift part or the complete layout. Go on, you'll enjoy it. Anyway, catch you next time on The Crafty Maven. Take care.